The Big Bambino question. The question you've all been wondering for decades and eons, or at least since Emeru last joined. Who's the next OTK member? You don't want to ask Twitch chat because they'll spam about 70 different people that I don't even talk to anymore, or anyone in OTK talks to, and as the person who has partially created this org, I will tell you that this is how we want to run, and this is how we will run for the period of time that we are existing. We're not picking up strays. Now what I mean by that is we are yeah, I said it, we are. In my opinion, we are the greatest org on Twitch, and I think we will stay that way no matter what. I really do think one thing that OTK has is we really are friends. For example, these last few weeks, I've been sitting there playing OTK Game Night with friends. Chat loves it, and I can see that you guys truly do see we are friends. Off stream, we hang out. On stream, we hang out. Off stream, we bitch and complain. On stream, we bitch and complain. We really do have the whole package. Woohoo. And I love that about OTK. I heckin love OTK, and I love that we all care about creating content, and I don't want to lose that. A lot of orgs, now that you see nowadays, they grab just anybody, and it just feels like they're just trying to throw their net and catch as many fish as possible. It's almost impossible, it is impossible, for organizations that have been around for decades to grab random streamers and pretend that they're organic with their community or organic with the people they're picking up. No, motherfucker, you're just picking up random people that are answering their Gmails that day. Holt, before you go anywhere, please notice that you do not have notifications on on this channel. And although 11% of you guys do, just know that 89% of you guys do not. So before you go anywhere, can you please put on notifications? We will give you three seconds. Thank you. The idea of who's joining OTK next is very difficult for us to even answer because we want to make sure that we hold that friend group as a standard. We want to make sure that nobody that joins OTK, God, I, I sound like such a click, but I, we want to make sure that nobody OT, and OTK isn't someone that we all enjoy hanging out with and someone that we all can hang out with. For example, someone like Seer. Seer is one of my best friends on and off Twitch. And one thing with Seer is that everyone in OTK loves him and everyone in OTK likes to hang out with him. You know, even Tectone. Tectone is loved by us on OTK and he also is loved by everybody around us. Same with everybody on my org, Nick, S-Fan, Emeru, you name it. Everyone is loved by each other and we all really are friends. And I don't wanna lose that. Could we go right now and grab 20 streamers in a month saying that you could join OTK and possibly get raided by Asmongold? Yeah, worked with Rich, I'll work with them. But would we want that? No. Imagine my org game nights where I'm sitting there playing Mario Kart with a bunch of my friends and all of a sudden you have just a bunch of people that you don't even know who they are that have never been introduced to my stream or anyone else's. It's just random. And I think it would immediately deteriorate everything that we've worked hard on, which is really creating a org with friends and we want to make something together. Just because I say that somebody is good on OTK and I believe they fit in, doesn't mean that Asmongold thinks the same thing and doesn't mean that Nick thinks so as well. It's something where we all have to kind of come together and understand and agree, yes, this person fits our brand, this person fits in with all of us, and this person doesn't mind us making really fucking rude jokes about them to their face or off stream or in Discord. That's a big deal. I, I mean, one thing that's big about OTK is we're kind of toxic. You know, we, we do have that more friend-like vibe and we do shit on each other a lot. And I love that but it's kind of difficult sometimes to find people that not only fit in with you, but also don't care if you shit on them. In OTK, we also are constantly trying to find people that we think want to be innovators, right? People that want to create their own content and want to grow their own stream. We don't want people to come on OTK and just expect to get raided and hosted and grow into big streamers. Because the thing is, you can't do that. I can raid someone with 20,000 viewers, 30,000 viewers every single day, but if that person isn't entertaining, that person won't hold the, the host. A perfect example of someone that has been able to do that well is Emeru. Emeru, when I first met her, was averaging one to 2,000 viewers. Emeru now is averaging around 12,000 viewers. Why? It's not just OTK. Emeru's gotten tons of exposure from a bunch of other communities, and it has shown that she is entertaining, and she is good at making content, and that's what we want to have around here. People that don't have to rely on us. It's not that easy to find that, surprisingly. A lot of content creators are lazy motherfuckers. A lot of content creators don't want to do shit. They want to just ride the wave. Trust me when I say this. We've gotten almost probably around at this point 100 legitimate Twitch streamers that want to join OTK. And we picked three. For someone to just say, hey, I want to join OTK right now, 
I don't really know what you guys do. I don't really know most of the other people in OTK, but I would love to join. Bro, we're not that kind of org and we'll never be that kind of org. We want everybody to join to feel like they are part of our group because you are. Everyone on OTK is friends and I wanna keep that. I wanna keep that amazing vibes that we have right now and that great personal feeling that I have with the org. I love it. Now, as for the question of who's joining OTK next, we do know who's joining OTK next. You don't, but we do. OTK, like I said, had 100 people come to us, but we do know people that are part of that 100 people that were like, yeah, you know, you make sense. That takes time though. One, we gotta make sure that they're okay with joining, and two, a lot of paperwork and a lot of bullshit happens. You know, whether it's Tommy in it, yeah, like he's obviously joining, I don't know, just anybody that just like fits in perfectly with us. I just wanna make sure that it's very clear for people who want to join OTK. We're not gonna be picking up random people and we will never do that. And we are going to continue staying our course of people that are our friends. Now, I know what you're gonna probably say. Miss Kiff, of 100 people are coming to you that wanna join OTK, don't you think you should try them out to see maybe if they're a good fit? And yeah, we do. Uh, I constantly am bringing people in and out of my stream. I'm constantly talking to people on and off Discord to make sure that if they are potentially a good fit. Because we want to make sure that when someone joins OTK, it's a big deal. Right now, I pretty much see o OTK in its peak. And I want to keep that peak for all eternity. And I don't think it's too hard. All we have to do is make sure that we get people on OTK that we feel fit in with us and that are our friends and that actually can vibe well with us. You know? The second we start grabbing a bunch of content creators that really don't fit in, you know, for example, if imagine if we bring on a, a, a content creator that gets offended by Nick Palm's jokes, that's bad. You know, um, we have to make sure that these people that come to us are friends with everybody because you're not just gonna be hanging out with me if you join OTK. You're hanging out with the whole fucking crew and you gotta be okay with every single thing that comes on because we don't wanna have a lawsuit. I don't care if I buy or some other people are out there making disgustingly great content. Good for you. I want to be doing good content with my friends. That is my most important thing. And that is the most important thing of our org is we want to be doing it organically. And we want to be growing together as a friend group, as a family. Who's joining OTK next is a question that I get asked almost every single day in my stream. And I get constantly berated and bombarded with people saying a bunch of names in chat. And the thing is, are they joining OTK? You may be right. Do I think someone's gonna be joining OTK sometime soon? Pfft, no, no. I don't care for the biggest org on Twitch. You know, I think we are right now, but I really don't care. I don't care if we're the biggest org in the world. We're not, we may not ever be. But you know what I wanna be? I wanna be the most fun org. I wanna be the org that, yeah, we do our game nights on Wednesdays and they're fun as fuck. And we're clearly all friends that have been friends for years and we're having a good time. And it sounds like a click and it kind of is. We gotta make sure that if this friend group, which is gonna have, it has a core of about 10 people that have been friends with each other for years, almost even some up to a decade, that they're all fun with us and we all like and enjoy them. Cause the second we invite one person that we don't enjoy, the org has toxicity and the org loses its number one thing that we have compared to every other org, that personal friend vibe. We all are on stream with each other, actually enjoying each other, being friends. It's not an easy thing. It's, it's It takes a long time for us to really evaluate somebody to decide, do we really want them to join or not? And I'm glad we're doing that. Now, is there a threshold on how many people are joining OTK? No. Uh, I look, if 50 people fit in, then, you know, congratulations, we have 60 people on the org. But do I think that 50 people will fit in with us perfectly and are going to be in our similar type of humor and the way we vibe and hang out? I hope so. I hope this org gets massive. I hope that a lot of people fit in. I hope a lot of people are in our, our, our groups and we start having a lot of fun with a lot of content creators. I love hanging out with everybody. And you guys see that every day on my channel that I love hanging out with streamers. But it's not just me who's involved with this. It's almost everyone else. It's not easy to figure out somebody that really is down for the sickness. And fortunately we found Seer, Tectone, and Emeru, but I don't know who's next, but you will soon. The TLDR of it is we really wanna make sure that we are handpicking these people to join OTK because we never wanna lose that amazing thing we have right now, which is fun. And I don't wanna lose that.
And I feel like the second we start grabbing a bunch of other streamers that we really don't know and forcing them to do content with us that we really don't want to do, that's when we lose the fun. And that's when I think the org will fall flat. I just want to say something very good. Fuck. I just want to say thank you very much to all of you guys. 11% of you guys have now put on all notifications on the channel. And that's great news for us. Also, the videos have been doing amazing. And honestly, it's a lot less stress on me. But I'll talk about that in this week's Sunday video. Thank you guys so much, and I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another fun video. Peace out.